The Army Corps of Engineers plans to fully reopen the channel to the Port of Baltimore as early as this weekend. A huge development as it took a long 10 weeks to get here and a unified response from hundreds of people across the country. But tonight, as we said, we could just be hours now before that channel is open back up to marine traffic. And WJZ is live at the Canton Waterfront Park tonight. Christina Mendez had the chance to speak with one of the leaders of the Army Corps of Engineers to walk us through what happens next. Christina, good evening. Rick, good evening. So right now we know that this milestone was all made possible after that last piece of steel truss was pulled up from the channel that was blocking it for some time now. Crews will work at this point to clear any of the debris at the bottom of the riverbed. Operations to remove colossal pieces of the Francis Scott Key Bridge entangled with concrete cables and rebar are done, but the work continues this weekend to fully reopen the 700 foot wide shipping channel with 50 feet of depth. We owe it to the Port of Baltimore, to Maryland, to, to our region, to our nation to make sure that we explore and then make sure we leave no steel behind. So we're going to be very careful. Colonel Esty Pinchason with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers spoke with WJZ about the process that's ahead as some of the largest vessels that pass through only have about a foot of clearance. I mean, we're using survey vessels with sonar technology to map the bottom of the riverbed and to see how what the elevation is. The bottom is still covered with debris, road wreckage, and the roadbed that we used to drive on. Crews made way for some vessels, including cruise ships, to access the port through temporary channels last month. The Army Corps says the full reopening will allow two-way traffic if need be. Longshoreman checker Everett Allen says the progress is starting to show for the tens of thousands whose livelihoods depend on the port. That's where our bread and body come in through the, the ships, the ships that come into the channel, and that that's just that's what we're looking forward to. And Rick, looking ahead to next week on Tuesday, June 11th from 6 to 7 p.m., the MDTA will hold a virtual meeting to give people an update on a way to revitalize and reimagine the key bridge. I'm reporting live from Canton. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.